today I made this sweet acorn and oak leaf garland and I wanted to show you how I did it. So what I did was I took a few sets of oak leaves and acorns and set them out the way I wanted them to go. Brown yarn and my three and a half millimeter crochet hook. First thing I did was make a slip knot and then chain 10. You can do more than 10. I feel like I should have actually because this is going to be the end of the garland and it helps to have a little bit of space when you're hanging it. So now we get to start attaching the acorns and oak leaves. So at the very end of these there, there are two little loops and what I'm doing here is single crocheting into that first loop and then going into the next loop and then I'm going to pick up the first loop of the leaf which will go behind the acorn and single crochet both of those together and after that go into that second loop of the leaf single crochet that and now they're attached So then you chain 10 in between each of the sets of leaves and acorns and just continue to attach them the same way I did that first one until you get to your last one. And then once that last set is attached, I chained 10 again until I got to the end but like I said it's a little bit short so I would actually chain more if I were to do it again and then once I'm at the end I went back into that last stitch and began slip stitching so all I do is slip stitch back down the whole thing and this just helps to make it a little more stable and secure So as you're slip stitching back down the garland cord, it's um, helpful to pay attention to the, the cord below because it, it tends to kind of spiral around itself. Once you have slip stitched down the entire cord, just pull up the yarn so that you have a nice tail to weave in the ends. So all you're going to do is just pull that end. I used a tapestry needle here and I just pulled that end back down a few inches back into the cord just to secure it and hide it. And then just do the same thing with that second one and it is done. So this sweet little garland is all finished. I did forget to mention that these leaves actually have a piece of wire ran through the back of them. I did that just so that I can pose them and they'll hold their shape. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the patterns for these acorns and oak leaves, you can find those on my website.